Failing to master your Kindle means missing out on the stories that will change your life. This video is a one-stop shop to unlock the full potential of your Kindle e-reader. I'm going to walk you through all the steps to correctly set up your Kindle. I will teach you how to navigate around Kindle, show you how to download and purchase books, transfer books from your PC, Mac or laptop, all that while having fun in the process. All in a simple step-by-step -step approach so you can start enjoying your Kindle to the fullest. I also share tips along the way and battery saving pro tips, so stick to the very end. Let me quickly tell you my story of how Kindle almost destroyed my life. When I started using Kindle some years back, I can't deny it. It was an overwhelming experience. I didn't know how to transfer books, how to register it, all the swiping, typing, tapping, moving my PDFs. A lot of settings were confusing at first. I remember spending hours getting things figured out. I was missing out on a much richer, more fulfilling life of wisdom and adventure Kindle was to offer me. I eventually got there, but it was very time consuming and I almost returned it out of frustration. <laughs> but with this video, I'm certain you won't have to. Once you follow this video, using Kindle will become very intuitive. It's like discovering a whole new world of reading at your fingertips. And I'm here to help you every step of the way. And if I've turned you into a Kindle lover in the process, well, you may as well subscribe so we can share the joy of ebook readers together. Let's dive right in. First, let's set up your Kindle. To power on or off your Kindle, press the power button located at the bottom of the device. This is also the only clickable button on the device. You will be greeted with the setup screen. Choose the language and region and go to the next page. Follow the on-screen instructions to connect your Kindle to Wi-Fi or alternatively use your Kindle app to perform a simple setup connection. More on Kindle app later. If you don't have a Kindle app, don't worry. Just choose setup on this Kindle option. Once connected to Wi-Fi, sign in with your Amazon account to access your library and the Kindle store. Don't have an Amazon account? No worries, you can create one on the same screen. Amazon account allows you to access Kindle store books. It saves your purchased books. It also syncs your farthest page read if you're using multiple devices. Overall, super useful stuff and necessary for your Kindle. If you've done all that, you will land on the welcome screen. Great job. Now, let's go next and choose if the Kindle should be kid friendly or not. I'm a big kid, but I will opt for no kid-friendly option. Well done, we finally arrived on the home screen. You may see a prompt for a quick six-step tutorial to get started. Feel free to skip it as we will cover these points next. Now imagine this, you've just finished setting up your Kindle and you're ready to dive into your first book. How do you find it? Let's navigate through your Kindle together. On the home screen, you will see your recent library books and purchase recommendations. From here, you can access your library and the Kindle store. Library is where all your purchased and downloaded books are. The bottom menu allows you to easily switch between the home screen and your library, which is very handy. Once in library, you can filter the books by their status or type. By default, the library books are sorted by the most recent book read but you can also sort your books by title, author, or publication date. You can also adjust viewing settings. I like the list view, so I'm going to stick with that. To open a book, simply tap on it. If the book is not locally on the device, you will see it being downloaded, which may take a minute. Once the book is opened, you can tap on the left side of the screen to move to the previous page. You can tap on central or right side to move forward. You can also slide from left to right or right to left to move between pages. A quick tip here, you can pinch the screen to increase or decrease the font size, which is super handy. While reading, you can also slide from the top to reveal quick toolbar. You can adjust brightness here, adjust or schedule warmth of the backlight, enable Bluetooth or airplane mode, or switch on the dark mode. Dark mode is perfect for reading at night because you only have the smallest bit of light to read. 
so it doesn't really hurt your eyes as much and is not disturbing to others. Tapping on the top will reveal the quick menu where you can return back to library, modify font and layout settings, review table of content, review any notes and highlights, or make a bookmark. Let's review font and layout settings by pressing on AA icon. You can change the font type, how bold the font is, and the font size. You can also adjust orientation, margins, spacing, and alignment. I personally enjoy reading in landscape mode with medium spacing. Going to More tab gives you a few more options, like reading progress displayed while reading your book, whether to show clock while reading, to use a nice looking page turn animation, or whether to enable or disable Wordwise on your book. We'll talk about Wordwise later in the video. Speaking of books, have you ever wondered how easy it is to get new ones on your Kindle? Let's explore the Kindle store. You can browse by categories, bestsellers, or search for specific titles. When you find something you like, just select the book review description and click buy. The book will automatically download to your device. Did you know you can also download a free sample before purchasing? It's a great way to explore new authors or genres without any commitment. But what if you have books or PDF files on your computer that you want to read on your Kindle? No problem at all. Connect your Kindle to your PC, Mac or laptop using the included USB cable your Kindle will show up as an external drive. Simply drag and drop compatible files into the Documents folder. Kindle supports various formats, including AZW, Mobi, Doc, and PDF. You can also send documents from your email to your Kindle via your unique Kindle email address. To find out your unique email, Simply go to settings of your Kindle, select your account, and you will see the send to Kindle image right there. This is a great option on the go when you don't even need to use cable. Another great feature of Kindle for organizing your books is Kindle Collections. It allows you to organize your books into categories you can name, like books to read, my favorites, or science fiction. To create a collection, go to your library, Tap three dots at the top right and choose create a collection. Name it the way you like and add books to it. This makes it easy to keep your reading organized and find your favorite books quickly. Your collections will be also synced across your other devices, assuming you're using the same Amazon account. When in library, you can access each book's settings by tapping three dots. This allows you to add or remove book from the collection, search within the book, or delete the book from your Kindle. Please note there may be different options available depending on how the book was purchased. If your Kindle has a Bluetooth icon in the toolbar menu, it means you can connect Bluetooth headphones or speakers and listen to Audible audiobooks directly on your Kindle. Audible is an Amazon service with thousands of audiobooks available for purchase, including bestsellers, classics, and exclusive content. Access the Audible store, go to the Kindle store and select the Audible tab. Audible offers a range of playback speeds, allowing you to adjust the narration to match your reading speed. If you want to avail of a 30-day free Audible trial, check the link in the description. And if you're wondering about some cool tips and tricks, here are a few. Did you know that while reading, you can long press a word to see its definition, highlight that text, or add it as a note? The X-Ray feature is fantastic for exploring characters and terms in a book. X-Ray is a unique Kindle ebook feature that allows readers to learn more about the character, topic, event, place, or any other term simply by pressing and holding on the word that interests you. Note, not all books have X-Ray feature enabled, and in practice, it's highly dependent on the work put into the material. I still find it highly useful for complex novels and sci-fi books with many characters involved. Wordwise is another great feature that provides simple definitions for challenging words, perfect for learning new vocabulary. Essentially, you get simple definitions and synonyms displayed above more difficult words while you read. 
Wordwise is only available in English books and isn't enabled on all Kindle books. I also want to take a minute to talk about the Kindle app available on Mac, Windows, Android or iPhone device or tablets or iPads. If you forget your Kindle at home and want to continue reading your book, don't fret. You can log into your Amazon account and access all of the same content on the Kindle app. After you install the app, open it and sign it with your Amazon account details that you created for your Kindle. Your entire Kindle library should automatically appear on the library tab of the app. Just tap a book to download it to your device and start reading. The sync feature will notify you of the farthest page read. Kindle apps navigation, font adjustments, collections, all of it is almost identical to your Kindle, so it's super intuitive. I promise some pro tips on batteries. Here they are. So to save battery, you can lower the brightness and turn off Wi-Fi when not in use. You can also turn on airplane mode so that the device doesn't use any connectivity features. Additionally, regularly charge your device. Avoid exposing it to high temperatures and never let it go fully empty. Tossing and forgetting about it for months on end will reduce battery lifespan. So, have you thought about how much more enjoyable reading can be with all these features? Well, you don't have to, as you're now equipped with all the basics to enjoy your Kindle. But hey, that's just the beginning of your Kindle journey. If you want to learn 10 essential Kindle tips right now, head to this video. And if this video was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've spent quite a bit to get this video ready for you and I'd appreciate a little bit of support. Enjoy your reading experience and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.